So guys, this is Water Street. This is Reeting and Rick, Weeting and Richter, the ice factory and storage. This, at one point, Guyana used to import ice from North America and Europe before there was refrigeration. And this is where imported ice would be brought off ships and distributed throughout the country to shops and restaurants. The old Weeting and Richter built, the old Weeting and Richter ice factory now makes its own ice. So they basically are now using refrigerators to make ice and they still sell ice. They no longer import ice from Canada and Europe. But all of this is still an industrial zone. This building is the Guyana Stores Central Garage. So Guyana Stores once sold cars. If you wanted to buy one of those old Woosleys or Morris Oxford, you came down to Guyana Stores and you bought it. I don't know what the brands were they sold. Maybe Ford, Oxford, Volks, uh, Vaxhall and so on. These cars were once in the 1970s, 60s and 1970s were once the main transportation on the road. Now, of course, most of the vehicles on the road are Toyota. But that's looking north. Over here, this is Matthias supermarket. Matthias is now a major competitor in the supermarket industry here in Guyana. Supermarket sales competing with um, the Chinese. There's a lot of Chinese restaurants. I'm going to cover that in another, another video later on this week. But Matthias is representing for Guyanese uh, merchants against an onslaught of Chinese who are moving into the merchandising of goods, foreign goods mainly. The Matthias supermarket here, I'm going to take a look at it on the inside in a future video and do a monthly shopping list tell you what it costs to shop for vegetables or groceries in Guyana. So that's Matthias. We're walking on Water Street. This is the City Constabulary Training Complex and we just passed, like I said, that's the Transport and Harbors. Sorry, that's the uh, old Guyana stores. Guyana stores Central Garage. Matthias is over here, their home goods warehouse. Matthias, like I said, it's a Guyanese uh, supermarket chain now. And uh, representing Guyanese ma merchants, representing four Guyanese merchants in a market that's being swamped with Chinese. But this is what's happening on Water Street, and I'm saying one block away is a river. But you can't see the river because all of this has been zoned as an industrial zone. This, for example, is Singer. And Singer sells these brands. Across the street, that is Saipam. That is Georgetown Offshore Construction Facility. Saipam is another contractor for the oil and gas industry. I think this here, Victor, used to be there used to be a cinema, a theater in this building, or is it the one next door? But all of this is, oh yeah, there used to be a shopping mall at one point. The point is that all of this shopping area, I used to be a shopping mall. Now it's been replaced by, I think there, also be, uh, there used to be apartments for rent in this building. So this would be a shopping mall and an apartment building. Now it's been replaced by industrial zoning for the oil and gas industry. And what I'm saying in this video is that all of this industrial zoning needs to be changed. This is Water Street, right? Water Street is the closest street to the river. It's called Water Street because it used to flood when the river rise. So when the river rose and overflowed its, ba overflowed its banks like once a year or twice a year, whenever the, that happened at high tide and in the rainy season, Water Street would flood, so this is how this street became known as Water Street. 
But Water Street is close to the river and all of this land that is prime real estate because of its riverfront location shouldn't be an industrial zone. All of these industries should move, should be moved further along the river that it's deeper into the Demerara so that it doesn't uh, so that the ind industry doesn't take up the city, take up the, the riverfront in the city and this, the riverfront should be available for access to people who live here, to residents but as it is now all of this so what, what we're doing right now is we're walking along the extension the end of Kwamina Street remember I said Kwamina Street used to be Murray Street Murray Street if you cross over Water Street this is what you will find at the end of the street here is a little um, community residential community a lot of people who used to live in the Tiger Bay area you know they clean up Tiger Bay those people ended up in this neighborhood so I'm not gonna film their um, homes but I just wanted to show you what's happening here. This is where the river bank is located. And at the river bank, you have all of these industries being operated right now. This one, it's a loading dock for the oil and gas industry. Right, so here is a loading dock for the oil and gas industry. This building is fairly recent. I think five years ago they were building it. I don't know if it's completed yet, but it's also a merchant building. But beyond that is the is the river. And the river is not accessible to the city, which is a problem, right? So that's what I'm saying in this video, that all of this industrial zone along the river bank needs to be rezoned into residences so that you can have hotels on the riverbank so that you can have apartment complexes All right so that you can have so that you can have a boardwalk and so that you can have shopping malls and theaters and restaurants for outdoor dining so that people in the city can enjoy the riverfront and you want to move all of these all of these industries further along deeper into the Demerara River along the Demerara River Bank where there's a lot of access there's a lot of riverfront further along the river. The industrial zone does not have to be in the middle of the city. This is the National Hardware Store. National Hardware is a government owned hardware store. As I said in the previous video, National Hardware is equivalent to Home Depot or Rona, or one of these. Um, home goods tool stores where you can buy tools and tools and lawn furniture and outdoor outdoor equipment and so on so and right next door to that this is a a shipping yard so all these shipping containers are being stored in the shipping yard. This is Munish Wars shipping. They're here located along the river bank. That's the Munish Wars building and beyond Munish Wars there is John Fernand's Wharf which we've seen in previous videos. So all along the river front here as you get closer and closer to the river bank you get industrial zone so what industrial zone does it brings all these heavy 
trucks. Brings all these heavy trucks into the city, destroying the city streets and clogging up the city with traffic. Now, if you rezoned, now we're back at Church Street. I'm gonna end this video here, but the point I'm making is if you rezoned the riverfront to be a a residential and commercial zone. Right, if you rezoned all of this area to be residential and commercial, you could get these heavy trucks off the streets. And if you rebuilt the train lines, right, you built a freight line that runs along the coast from Blackbush Polder or from Coriverton, from Skeldon to Georgetown, and you get all of those heavy trucks that transport rice and sugar and paddy, you get them off of the roads, put them onto train lines, you can transform not only the efficiency of the Guyanese industry, but you can also make the city more livable, make the roads safer, because you don't have heavy trucks sharing the road with private vehicles, private cars, and so on. That's it, guys. This was up. This was happening in this neck of the woods. In the next video, I'm going to show you some of what's happening along Water Street in these. That used to be Fogarty's. This building used to be Fogarty's. The one behind me, that's Munich Wars Limited. But the one behind me, this used to be Guyana Stores. Right, Guyana Stores Limited. But I'm going to stop the video here in this familiar neck of the woods. And straight ahead, that is the Bank of Guyana building. Right, that's the Bank of Guyana building. The yellow building in front of it is the it's the old um, museum, but it's still being used as a museum. I haven't visited. Morning, morning. I haven't visited the museum recently, but this is what the museum looks like now in 2024. It's still being operated as a museum, but I don't think it's anything interesting. Um, stored there, although we probably should take a look at it at some point in the future. But that's what's up, guys. That's what's happening in this neck of the woods. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening in the heart of downtown Georgetown, in the fastest growing city, fastest growing economy in the world, Guyana. Later.